Hello everybody, welcome for coming. Today we have a Woodland Scenics Dansbury Depot in N-Scale. It's looking very good here. Like all uh, Woodland Scenics, they just put an absurd amount of details into it. Um, this one is um, interesting because we've added a lot of things. I'm seeing a little uh, truck here, a scale, some steps so you can get on some trains. We got a semaphore there. We got some notice boards. Lots of benches to go around, a mailbox, um, some non-functioning lights, a clock. Oh my gosh. Back over on this side, some more benches, even with some stuff up on the chairs. Another truck there. Looks like we got a floor mat on the way in, some signs um, up on the wall there. Let's see a side entrance with some barrels and a thing to haul luggage around. Just a lot of details going on here. Okay, let me talk to about um, some of the things I really like about all this. It, it is good on all sides. The, every side has something interesting um, about it. it. It just says small train station uh, somewhere in middle America. Just It just says that from one end to the other. The roof detail is nice and things of that nature. Let me talk a little bit about well, maybe some things I don't like about it. Uh, first off... The roof does have detail on it, but it is not weathered in any way, whereas uh, many of the other models were weathered. Um, this one is not weathered. And Chips even has a little bit of a weathered roof. Not a lot here. But Chips, you can see it's got a hollow bottom. So it could be lit up even though there's not too much to see. A train station just begs to have something on the inside to see. And unlike Chips, the windows are not blacked out. You can actually see into the windows but there's no details whatsoever. They did not uh, light this model. They didn't put any interior details. And if you put it on the bottom, it is a solid bottom. So it'd be very difficult to light up. So I think this is, this is something that they could have done a lot better. We know how much they're capable of doing on the inside uh, with the insides of buildings and lighting and stuff like that. Actually, now I'm looking at this, it does say copyright uh, 2004 so maybe this was before their lighting system came out I would love to see this um, with a little bit more open windows and just having some sort of detail on the interior because um, every building has a story about what it's in the middle and the outside certainly says this has a story of hey this is a train station but I don't know what's what's on the inside here maybe some ticket counters maybe some benches uh, um, something of that nature so um yeah, that, that's my review on this one. All right. Uh, thank you, um, everybody, for coming. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Mm, bye.